Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to cover problems from Chapter 1.7, Deductive Structure, and Chapter 1.8, Statements of Logic. So there one, there's one problem for each of the two sections. The first problem in 1.7 asks us to take a look at a grid uh, in which we're trying to figure out uh, which one of the tags that we've discovered at a zoo belongs to the correct animal. So what has happened is there are a bunch of animals at the zoo and uh, the tags have been mixed up or they've been dropped by the animals. The animals are out and now we're trying to figure out which tag, not knowing the animals, belongs to uh, which animal. So we're given some clues and we're asked to use the deductive structure in order to figure out uh, where the tags apply. So what we're given is that Wendy cannot get along with a lizard. So we know if Wendy cannot get along with a lizard, then Wendy cannot be the lizard herself. Right? So if Wendy, doesn't, Wendy cannot get along with a lizard, then Wendy is not the green lizard. So I have Wendy is identified by W, Katie by K, and Jody by J. We have a purple monkey, a green lizard, and a red crocodile. And we need to find out who is Wendy, who is Katie, and who is Jody. So if Wendy cannot, cannot get along with the lizard, then Wendy is not the green lizard. All right. Katie took a bite out of the monkey's ear. So that means that Katie is not the monkey. Wendy is not red, so we know that she's not the red crocodile. And Jody is not the crocodile. So we know that <clears throat> if we create a table, we know that Wendy must be the purple monkey. Now that leaves us with only two animals left, the green lizard and the red crocodile. Well, if we take a look at the diagram which we create, and a lot of times it helps to graphically represent what you're doing when you create a deductive structure, um, either some type of flow chart or a graph or a table of some sort. We know that the red crocodile can't be Jody, so we're just left with uh, Jody as being the green lizard. Okay, If Jody is a green li lizard, then Katie cannot be the green lizard. So Katie must be the red crocodile. All right. So we've used the facts to make uh, conclusions. The facts are Wendy cannot get along with a lizard, so she's not the green lizard. Wendy, cannot, uh, Wendy is not red, so she's not the red crocodile. So therefore, the conclusion, Wendy must be the purple monkey. If Wendy is a purple monkey, then Katie and Jody have to be either the green lizard or the red crocodile. If they have to be either the green lizard and the red crocodile, and Jody is not the red crocodile, then she must be the green lizard. Well, if Wendy is a purple monkey and Jody is a green lizard, then Katie must be the red crocodile. So again, using deductive structure to figure out the answer uh, to the problem based on what's given, and then diagramming, creating a table in order to figure that out. Okay, let's talk about statements of logic, just one problem. So we're given uh, three statements, and uh, we're asked to find out what's wrong with the three statements. And it ends up that at least one of these statements cannot be true. So why is that so? So let's see, the three statements are conditional statements. If the line is long, Quincy will go home. Second statement, if it is morning, then Quincy will not go home. And the third statement, if the line is long, then it is morning. So one of these statements needs to be false because if, it is, if the line is long, then Quincy will go home. But Quincy's not going to go home if it's morning. <clears throat> but it says in C that if it's morning, then the line is long. Okay. Uh, so we know that if it is morning, Quincy will not go home. But when it's morning, the line is long, so Quincy must go home when the line is long. So these conditional statements contradict each other, so at least one of them cannot be true.